To transition from surgical castration while avoiding boar taint, there are two main options available. One is to raise entire male pigs. The other is to vaccinate. Both ensure better animal health and welfare, higher meat quality, lower costs, and increased productivity. Supply chains in EU countries like Belgium and France have avoided boar taint when transitioning away from surgical castration. We interviewed farmers, slaughterhouses, food processors, and retail and food service operators to ask them about their experiences. Why did you transition to raising entire males? When and how did you make the switch? I transitioned to entire males, I think almost 10 years ago now, and mostly because of the economics. An entire male is much more efficient than a castrated one. And the second thing is animal welfare and also animal health. I think that's much better with entire males than with castrated ones. Have you ever considered vaccination? I uh, look to vaccination also, but I choose the way of raising entire males. Which techniques do you use to reduce boar taint? The techniques I use to reduce boar taint, first of all, is uh, keep the stables clean. Uh, so I organize a good climate into the stables. And the second thing is uh, use the right feeding components. What message do you have for farmers who are using surgical castration? I would say keeping entire meals in your barns gives a lot of advantages. And if you want to inform yourself, get in contact with your colleague who is working with entire meals, and hopefully you can learn something from them. Now, to be successful in the future, I need a commitment, support from my partners in the chain. Why did you transition to slaughtering entire males? When and how did you make the switch? We transitioned to slaughtering entire males because the market had a requirement for higher welfare standards. And piglet castration is a relevant topic into uh, animal welfare. So ending piglet castration would be a very logical step in raising the bar for animal welfare. What do you think about vaccination as an effective means of preventing boar taint? The use of vaccination as a way to prevent boar taint is, from a technical point of view, very effective. Veterinarian, I understand the concept and it works very well. What are your lessons learned so far? Pork production is a chain production. And at the end of the chain, people have to be very confident to buy the product. And assuring quality at slaughter level, making sure that there is no tainted meat entering the market, is very, very important for the success of the entire chain. What message do you have for slaughterhouse operators who haven't made the transition? So to all my colleagues in Europe who also process pigs but haven't made the transition yet to intact boars, I would say, I understand your reluctance. There are many questions and managing boars is not for everyone. But I'm sure farmers can do it. We've shown it in different member states, so we all could do it. Boar production also fits with a modern market where there's a demand for a leaner product. So I think if we can do it, so can you. How has processing meat from uncastrated males made your business more successful? Processing meat of uncastrated males is more or less the same as of female pigs. They have the same characteristics and they are a bit or more on the leaner side, which actually fits the modern market very well. The success of the entire story is actually in the entire chain. In the entire chain of production from farm to fork because uncastrated males are very efficient growers. They are very good at changing animal feed into meat, cutting costs in the chain. It's good for farmers and good for uh, the entire chain of production. What are the advantages of buying meat that comes from entire males? The advantage of buying meat from entire males is that this meat in general is leaner which fits in the healthy diet of eating not too much by our consumers. What we also see is that entire male animals produce more meat with the same food intake. From an environmental perspective, this is quite positive as it takes less feed to get the meat that you need. And thirdly, of course, animal welfare. Here in the Netherlands, animal welfare is a really important issue and the non-castration of the animals helps in raising the animal welfare.
because you don't need to do any surgery on the animals by removing the testicles. So for us, that are the main advantages of buying meat from entire male animals. What are the benefits of selling meat products from entire non-vaccinated pigs to consumers? The benefits of selling meat from entire non-vaccinated pigs to consumers is one from an animal perspective, an animal welfare perspective. Whether you're a farmer, slaughterhouse, food processor, retailer or food service operator, remember to share your knowledge. Many of the challenges of transitioning to entire males or vaccinating pigs can be addressed with effective communication and improved ties between members of the supply chain. Only by working together can we make the transition successful. Find out more about best practices and techniques used by farmers, slaughterhouses, food processors, retailers and food service operators in our 12 fact sheets available in 24 languages.